Louisiana Beer Reviews, Paul Honor, Oktoberfest Martin. This is 5.8% alcohol. It is brewed in Germany. And it's so popular that they sell it year round now. It's not just for Oktoberfest. All right, so it's brewed in accordance with the Bavarian purity law. It says Munchiner beer, Munich beer. That's a geographical designation, like you'll see certified Louisiana products. So, so that's their state, Bavaria. I'm in the state of Louisiana. All right. Um, this company has been owned by the same family, family majority ownership since 1979. It was started by Pauline Monks. But that's another story. Um, I want to thank Paul Honor for sending this to me. Thank you, uh, Rebecca, for arranging that. Uh, they contacted me, contacted me and said, well, if we send you this beer, do you want to do reviews on it? I said, sure, this is a revisit. You remember in the past, they sent me that nice ceramic mug, the 500th anniversary of the Reinheitsgebot. That was a nice thing. I still had it, of course. They sent me the um, the Rattler, the bicycle competition t-shirt, which is really nice. And I think some other things, and the beers. So, there's the women, at the servers, the waitresses at the Oktoberfest, marching along. Um, the malts are Pilsner malt, which is light, and Munchen malt, which is dark. Hercules and Harlotar tradition are the hops. It gets a very good score in Beer Advocate, 87 out of 100. Now, Rapier says it's not good. It's a 66 out of 100. They don't like it. But in the style, it's a 96. So that means they don't like the style. So saying it's world class in the style. In the style. And an untapped has 73 out of 100. So here we go. It's a 11.2 ounce bottle. Of course, I would prefer 12 or even 16.9, but that's fine. We're, we're very pleased with 11.2. It's Best Buy April of 2020, so we have a good Best Buy date, people. Right. So this is a Merzen. And my friend David was watching a video I did for Louisiana Produce Merzen. He said, why is that beer so cloudy? He said, it's not supposed to be cloudy. What's going on? And I said, I know, I know. This one is clear as a bell. See? Amber, clear, thick, bone-colored head. This is a proper um, Maritzen from the fatherland, from the original location of the Maritzen beers. Okay. Thanks again, Paul Honor. And I have another bottle. They sent me four bottles, two of each. So I have another one. I'll try to get David to do a, um, a duo review. And I think he'll be interested, very interested in that. Rich, bready malt. Think of crackers, German bread crust, like you would get at Volksfest, Oktoberfest, the German bread. Spicy nose from those hops. aromatic, a little grassiness. Just smells fab looks fabulous and it smells fabulous. Let's go with the taste. It's malty, bready, very bready, very malty with a grassy, spicy hop finish. It's so perfectly balanced. And if at 5.8% alcohol, you'd be warned not to guzzle this too fast. And definitely don't guzzle too much. One or two, say two, should be fine. Now, I wouldn't say two 500 milliliters. That would be a bad decision. If you go to the Oktoberfest celebrations and you go to the uh, Paul Honor tent, they don't serve this 
this one, the Hellas, the other one, the Weizen, the Meadow beer, the Fest beer. So that's the one they have at their tent. And they say it's the most popular Oktoberfest beer. So I've never been to Oktoberfest in Bavaria. I've never been to Germany. I've been to Oktoberfest in New Orleans, in Kenner, in Metairie. What's the score? Well, the score is a 97 out of 100. I, I say a 97 out of 100. It's a, a most excellent product. Most excellent. It's just a wonderful beer. It's so enjoyable. You could drink it every day. And they produce it year-round now, right? Available year-round. You could drink it every day. I don't see how you'd ever grow tired of it. No off flavors, no off aromas. Medium body, crisp, clean finish. Dynamite. You say, well, what about the flavorings? You're always reviewing flavor beer. Yeah, that's true. This has none of that. It has no corn, no rice adjuncts added. Just pure beer, and it's fabulous. So, laissez les bon temps relay. A most excellent beer, 97 out of 100. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.